Okay, this year the Board of Trustees of Utah Friends of Paleontology voted to make two awards at the state level. The first award is the uh, 2016 Holotype Award for Extraordinary Achievement in Support of Paleontology and Volunteer Service. And that award is going to go to Rob Gaston. And I'd like to bring Rob up. I'd like to read the, uh, the award to you here. 2016 Holotype Award for Extraordinary Achievement in Volunteer Support of Paleontology goes to Robert Gaston. In 1988 and 1989, Rob Gaston, working with the Carbon College Prehistoric Museum, discovered and reported the first bones of what would prove to be a new species of polycanthid and chylosaur, Gastonia burgi. From a quarry in the Yellow Cat, member of the Lower Cedar Mountain Formation just outside of Arches National Park, that quarry is known as the Gaston Quarry, quarry and Gastonia is the namesake of the Utah Friends of Paleontology chapter in Moab. Rob Gaston co-founded Gaston Design and his studio produces world-class paleontological reconstructions that grace museums and private collections worldwide. Gaston Design works closely with top scientists and museums to produce reconstructions that are accurate, unique, and valuable as teaching specimens. Gaston Design has made many donations in support of the volunteer paleontology community. So it's my pleasure at this time to present this award to you, Rob. Well deserved. Thank you, I really appreciate the honor, and also while I'm up here, I want to thank the folks and uh, Price without uh, Don and the volunteers and the staff there. You know, none of this would be possible. It's, it's easy to find something, but it's all the work that comes in later that, that really makes it possible. So, thank you. Our second award for 2016 is the Lagerstadt Award for Lifetime Achievement in Paleontology. Uh, unfortunately, Don had knee replacement surgery a few weeks ago, and it's pretty tough to uh, get around still. His mobility wouldn't allow him to come here, but we are very pleased to have all four of his children here to receive the award on his behalf. So, Jackie. Jackie Burge lives at Sherida, Sherida Hicks, Robert, Robert Burge, and Stephen Burge. So I'm going to read the inscription on this award as well. The 2016 Lagerstadt Award for Lifetime Achievement in Volunteer Support of Paleontology goes to Donald L. Burge. Donald L. Burge is honored for his lifelong contributions to Utah paleontology. Through Burge's leadership as the founder and director of the College of Eastern Utah Prehistoric Museum, now the USU Eastern Prehistoric Museum, the museum became fully accredited with world-class exhibits and collections. The museum opened in 1961, and Burge's work continues to illuminate the outstanding paleontological resources of eastern Utah. Don was instrumental in the discovery, excavation, preparation, and research of several species of dinosaurs from Utah's Cedar Mountain Formation, including Utah Raptor, Ostromaeosaurum, Gastonia Burgi and Animantarx Ramal Jonesi. So it is our pleasure to present this award to you, Don's family, uh, to accept it on his behalf. Jeff, you. On behalf of our father, I just wanted to thank all of you for this uh, recognition. 
he really wanted to be here. It, it was painful for him not to get out. He's 81 now. And he's, he's still uh, very active uh, in so many ways, yet uh, his knee was pulling him back. I just wanted to say a few words of interest about this conference and this location. In 1991, by chance, I happened to spend a week down there digging. And of course, we knew there was the uh, armored dinosaur, the Gastonia Burgi at that time. It wasn't named such. And, uh, it was like 115 degrees over the 4th of July weekend. I was in my second year of law school, and I thought this would be a nice break to get away and go dig for dinosaurs. <laughs> I found out that, uh, I think I wrote my journal, I looked at it a couple days ago, and I said, it's, this is hard work, it's hot, it's miserable, I want to go back to school. Uh, I was like five feet away from Carl Limoni, whose name you see listed as, as uh, I don't know if it's a discoverer or whatever, the raptor. And I remember he was digging on a claw. You know, he's just five feet away with the dental tools. He's just digging around. And we're all like, what is, what is that? And so sometimes it's a stroke of luck. I was five feet away, found nothing. He's, uh, he's there and his name's all over. So anyway, great reminiscing about that. I was just thinking also, I saw a book back there by Lock, a guy named Lockley, and someone you would know. I just remember at that trip also, we saw there were some dinosaur footprints on the ground. I think Jim Kirkland found them. He's like, you know, come check these out. And we walked up there and we're looking at, there's like three or four of them. Is that Jim back there? Maybe he remembers this. And, and, and in my brain, what I see is the guy walking across the desert and, and it's that Lockley, I think, Jim, if that's right, he just happened to be there. So he gets his tape measure out and he's taking photos of these four dinosaur footprints on the surface that Jim had found. And so from my perspective, that was all pretty cool, pretty fascinating to be a part of that. But I, but I remember also getting dehydrated in 115 degree temperatures and was glad to get home and go back to school. Thank you all, appreciate it. Okay, there's your photo op, BJ. Go for it. <laughs>